The attempted coup in Bolivia was coordinated from abroad and is linked to the country's aspiration to join BRICS. These events in Bolivia have had a significant international impact. Let me remind you, a group of soldiers surrounded the square in the government quarter in La Paz the day before. The rebels were led by a general who had been dismissed from his post as army commander the day before. It lasted about three hours, with at least nine people injured, a major hunt for lithium and unfavorable cooperation for the West. How Bolivia is being hindered from following its own path. Details from Yana Mendeleeva. Early morning, troops deployed to the square. Special equipment moving through streets that were peaceful just yesterday. Attempt to storm the presidential palace. Gates to the residence rammed by an armored vehicle. And ministers forced to barricade themselves inside. This is how the morning began in La Paz today. But the coup attempt failed spectacularly. The coup plotters couldn't carry out their dirty deeds. They wanted to catch us and the Bolivian people off guard. We responded and the people mobilized, allowing us to thwart this coup attempt today. Thank you, Bolivian people. To understand, the process was led by rebel General Juan Jose Zuniga, who couldn't accept the dismissal of the army commander and demanded the alleged restoration of democracy and the release of political prisoners. He declared the head of state overthrown. President Arce called on the international community to pressure the coup plotters and urged citizens to defend democracy. The Workers' Union and the Confederation of Peasant Unions of Bolivia called for an immediate, indefinite, general strike against the military. It was unprecedented. In other words, the population did not expect this. But as you can see, everyone came out to defend democracy. The president appointed new commanders of the armed forces, who ordered the soldiers to return to their barracks. So what was this? Several international experts suggested that the United States might be behind the coup attempt, thrilled by Bolivia's aspirations to join BRICS. The attempted coup in Bolivia just days after President Luis Arce officially announced his desire to integrate the country into BRICS is no coincidence. This is clearly a preemptive strike against efforts to include South America in the project of building a, a multipolar world. An important clarification. A day before the weak coup, the country's authorities twice protested to Washington over interference in internal affairs. Here's what Lebanese geopolitical analysts write about the events in Bolivia. This is the second plot against the Bolivian state organized by the CIA in less than five years. Bolivia has 21 million tons of lithium reserves, the largest on the planet. A coveted spot for global new energy companies. Bolivia accounts for a quarter of the world's lithium reserves, which are constantly fought over. All of this together casts doubt on whether General Puches acted on his own initiative. After all, there was already a cup in the country in 2019. Then Evo Morales resigned as president amid protests supported by the military. And the second vice speaker of the upper house of parliament, Janine Añez, declared herself acting head of state and tried to steer the country on a pro-Western course. In June 2022, she was sentenced to 10 years for one of the coup cases. The same fate now awaits Zuniga. Only he could face up to 20 years. And Bolivia will continue to confidently move along the chosen path in the interests of its own people. Yana Mendeleeva, Mikhail Drugakov, News Agency.